We all know that a log of any number less than or equal to zero does not exist, right? Then what the hell is this log of negative three? Why is this question even asked? Because we always think in terms of the real number system, where anything like the log of a negative number seems absurd or nonsensical. But math doesn't stop there, because when we step into the world of complex numbers, strange things like this start to make sense. And we are interested in complex numbers because it has many practical uses in fields like engineering, physics, and even computer science, helping us solve problems that real numbers alone can't handle. They're tools for understanding waves, electricity, and even quantum mechanics. Okay, so let us see how we can solve for log of negative 3. Now consider this z value as a plus i b which is a standard way of writing complex numbers. Now draw this graph where the x-axis is real numbers and y-axis represents complex numbers. And if this is the origin, then this point represents z with this as a and this as b. Another way to look at this is by considering its polar form. Draw this line. Let this be of length r and this be the angle theta. What will be the value of a and b in terms of r and theta? a will be r cos theta, and b will be r sine theta. Now take r as common here, and we get z as r times cos theta plus i sine theta. Now can you see the connection? This is none other than Euler's formula, or e to the i theta. What is the benefit of representing z this way? If we take log of z, we get log of r e to the i theta, which using this property of log gives this, log of r plus log of e to the i theta. Now, using this property of log, and using the fact that log of e equals 1, we get log r plus i theta. Now, if you look here, r is the distance from origin to this point, which is denoted by the absolute value of z which is the same as the typical distance between origin and this point, and theta is this angle. Now consider our point negative 3, which can be written as minus 3 plus i times 0, or minus 3 comma 0, where a is minus 3 and b is 0. It will be located here, so what will be the value of r and theta? r will be this distance, or 3 in this case, right? and theta will be this angle, or 180 degrees, which in radian will be pi. So, log of negative 3 equals log of r, or log 3 plus i times theta, or i times pi. And that's it. Isn't this cool? Actually, if we go for a general solution, then consider this value of theta, which will not only be pi, it can be pi, plus one more rotation, or two pi, or pi, plus two rotations, or four pi, and so on. So it will be pi plus two n pi, where n is an integer. Thus log of negative three will be log three plus i times pi, plus two n pi. If you like it, please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. So good!